Hello everyone, welcome back. My name's Rose, for those of you who are new. And today we're gonna to be making cod with the crispy Parmesan topping. This recipe was a special request from my son and his friends. They were out looking for something to bring home to cook and they decided on cod and they didn't have a recipe so they checked my channel and I didn't have one. So here it is, cod with a crispy Parmesan topping. First of all, if you're wondering, there's some steam going on over here. I'm, bake, I'm making some rice and um, yeah. <laughs> this recipe works good with bass, haddock, cod, and um, walleye. Walleye. I made it with walleye last time and it was delicious. My neighbor brought over some walleye that he fished in the Columbia River and it's a perch fish. Nice and thick and it tastes really good. So let's go over the ingredients. The first thing we have is the cod. I have enough here for about seven people and it's about four, it's about uh, three or four pounds. If you buy it fresh at the store, you'll want to make sure that you cook it within a day or it will, it just is not the same. It just doesn't taste good. So it, it gets old fast. And just like any fish, you'll want to cook it the same day that you buy it or maybe one day after. This cod was previously frozen. So you'll want to make sure that you get all the liquid out of the cod and or else your fish will be mushy so in the end so um i just put paper towels on the bottom and then i put some paper towels on the top and just make sure you just press into the fish until there's hardly any liquid left so there now i'm going to put this back in the fridge and um so that it'll stay cool while we're preparing the rest of the ingredients here and of course you'll want to wash your hands after you touch the fish before you get into your vegetables and herbs with the lemon we're going to use the rind to zest the fish at the end to give it a lemony taste and we've got some fresh parsley that we're going to chop and sprinkle on at the end after it's been done baking so I'm gonna cut, chop some of that with the rest of the herbs and I'm gonna say, set this aside for later. So we have some rosemary and rosemary gives a nice um, lemony, pine, lemony pine taste. And um, we've got thyme and that's a little peppery. And of course the parsley is a little peppery too flavor. So, and then we have a, two green onions we're going to use and chop. So, we have Parmesan cheese. This is shredded. And then I'm going to use uh, four saltine crackers. We're going to use panko um, seasoned bread crumbs. These are Japanese style. These are seasoned with Pecorino Romano cheese. And we have some cayenne pepper, we have some Worcestershire sauce, some butter. Let's see what else do we have. And then we have my handy recipe, so I won't forget anything. And yeah, so that's about all we need at this moment. So we're gonna start putting all of it in the bowl, and then we're going to mix it with a pastry blender or a fork. Okay, let's start with the parsley. We're gonna chop the parsley up and set it aside for after um, we're done baking the cod. So we're gonna put that in small pieces. Oh, it smells nice and peppery. Okay, let's put that in here. Save that for later. Okay. 
I have about one and a half tablespoons worth of parsley. When you chop fresh herbs, one teaspoon of dry herbs is equal to about one tablespoon of fresh herbs. You can use dry herbs or fresh. Fresh makes this really pop, but um, if you have dry herbs, that'll work just fine. I'm going to take this off this the stem. I'll just take it by the top of the stem and we'll just go like that. About a teaspoon. And you don't want it um, chop up this stem here because it's kind of woody. That's about one teaspoon rosemary. Now we have some thyme. Okay, we're only putting about one teaspoon here. Of uh, time. There. Now let's chop up our green onions. I have two green onions. Cutting up here. Now I put that in the bowl. So, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese shredded here. Here. So we're going to put four saltine crackers in a bag and yeah, just need four of those. So we're going to crush the four crackers, the saltine crackers, on the towel. <laughs> I'm just using a meat tenderizer. So these just have to be lightly crunched up. There. We'll add that to our bowl. There. Now we need a half a cup of panko seasoned breadcrumbs. You can use any type of seasoned breadcrumbs and it'll work just fine. Panko is nice because they're extra crunchy. So let's put a half a cup in there. There. So now we need a half a teaspoon of the cayenne pepper. This is red pepper. Now we're going to put one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And you'll want to spread this around. This is the secret ingredient. This is very tasty. So we'll mix that up a little bit. There we go. Now this is what it should look like before we add the butter. Nice and fluffy. You want to keep it fluffy. There. Depending on your mixture here, you'll want to start with just a quarter cup butter. And 
this should be chilled. It'll make it easier to stir. And this is the topping for the fish. So I used a quarter cup of butter in here. You shouldn't need more than a third cup butter, but a quarter cup is just fine. Um, it's absorbed all the little cheese and herbs, and I think that'll be just fine. So, there we go. That's what it should look like. Okay, now we're ready for the fish. The first thing we'll do is prepare the pan. Now, you're gonna wanna use um, something that you can broil in, so it's gonna need to be a metal pan, and you'll want to use, I, I like to use foil on the top so that it's easier to clean. So I'm gonna spray the pan with some canola oil so that it'll be it won't stick to the pan. There. Now I'm gonna lay the cod on there. Here. There we go. Let's put this away and wash our hands. So now we're ready to put the topping on. Hey, okay. I'm going to use a spoon for this. Now you're going to use all of this on your fish tonight. You don't want to save any of it because you're dipping your spoon onto the fish and you wouldn't want to put that back in the pan. Nice. If you have problems putting this on here, and it's staying, that means you need a little more butter. So here we go, we've got the, <laughs> the cod ready for the oven. So we're gonna bake it for 25 minutes on 425 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll wanna watch it really closely because it's on a high temperature. I use a thermometer method and when the thermometer reaches 145 degrees, then uh, then it's done for me. So it, that, that will be when it's, um, slightly browned and crispy and another way to test if you don't have a thermometer is when you put a fork into it it'll flake apart easily so let's put this in the oven i like to raise my rack in the oven to the middle rack instead of the lower rack and this way i think it gets it more crunchy so good luck baking you can broil the fish for the last three minutes of baking time for a crispy top. Well, the fish is done and it's time for a taste test. The fish looks amazing and it smells amazing too. So let's put a little bit of lemon zest on here.
so the fish looks delicious and it just needs a scoop of rice. There we go. Now we just add a vegetable and a nice dessert and that will make a wonderful meal. Thanks for watching. This is suited for my husband. <laughs> That's delicious. So you really taste the fresh herbs. The recipe will be in the description box as always. Oh, and I love your comments. If you want to leave a comment, I would love that. And any special requests, please let me know what you'd like me to cook next. Thank you for watching.